In May of 1957, Cleveland police officers arrived at Matt's home with information that a suspect in a recent bombing was located at the house. Matt denied officers' demands to enter the home and search for the suspect until they produced a search warrant. After a period of time passed, the police officers forced their way into the home. They searched Matt's entire house. They didn't find a suspect. They didn't find any bomb-making materials. The only thing they found was uh, obscene materials, and she was eventually arrested and convicted of possession of obscene materials. The prosecution at the trial did not produce a search warrant, nor did they account for the failure to produce a warrant. The issue in this case, well, there's actually two issues. The first issue is a First Amendment issue and whether the obscene materials are protected under free speech. And the second issue to consider is whether or not, in a state prosecution, uh, illegally obtained evidence uh, should be admissible. In the decision of the Supreme Court, they kind of glance over the first issue, whether or not it's a freedom of speech issue. They answer the second question on whether it's a, uh, a Fourth Amendment violation and whether or not the evidence should be excluded. There was never any question on whether the, the search was illegal or not. Nobody, uh, nobody had any problem deciding that this was a Fourth Amendment violation. So the decision of the Supreme Court, um, after ignoring whether or not it was a First Amendment violation, clearly decided that it, any evidence illegally obtained is a, in a Fourth Amendment uh, violation is inadmissible in a state criminal proceeding. She had been convicted of, the, of a, an offense with illegally obtained evidence, and that is a, a violation of her constitutional protection against unreasonable searches and seizures. The impact that this, is, this has on law enforcement or, or criminal justice in general um, ensures that law enforcement officials adhere to the, the strict procedures associated with obtaining the search warrant um, before they can go ahead and search a house, a car, so forth. Um, prior to MAP, officers could violate the Fourth Amendment with really no consequence. The evidence would still be admissible in state prosecutions after MAP. Officers acting uh, in ways in which were deemed violations of the Fourth Amendment jeopardized entire cases because they wouldn't be able to admit the evidence in the court. That would put the entire case in jeopardy, um, and we would see uh, criminals that are factually guilty uh, be unprosecutable because the evidence was no longer admissible. The strict procedures in obtaining search warrants with probable cause and executing those warrants according to the limitations of the, war the warrant uh, are, are now strictly enforced and uh, the uh, police misconduct that we would see prior to MAP is no longer a, a substantial issue.